they've made a Disney film about kiteboarding guys with like a teenage heartthrob and all sorts and there's pro kiteboarders in it. It's going to be so shit. Oh, I can't wait. I honestly hope it's the worst thing ever made. That will be so funny. If it is. There's no way it's going to be good. Surely not. Basically, when they say, what's this movie about? I'm like, well, you know, it's, a, it's, it's young, beautiful people in bikinis and board shorts falling in and out of love, in, interspersed with, like, pro kite surfing, with, like, pro kite surfing. The triple A, no. The Send It, the movie, have fucked up big time. They haven't released anything about it. There's been no, like, uh, trailers or... Little, 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 just teasery, teasery bits, which has meant that I went digging deep into the internet. <laughs> I have uncovered a gold mine of shit. Literally, I've been wading through. I've been. I'm up to my fucking chest in shit now. After fucking searching for it, I'm fucking wading through in it. I've been looking at the cast. Looking at the filming locations, doing the searching the hashtags and the fucking other shit, and I've I've come across some absolute gems. The um, there's some audition tapes basically from some shit actors that have tried to tried to get involved with this lucrative kiteboarding Disney kids deal thing. So without further ado, let me unveil the first, and it's maybe the best. Which um, maybe you shouldn't be doing it right this way around, but do you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Hi there. Okay. I need a uh, 40 in gas, please. Oh, shit. Johnny, we got a runner! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Can I have this thing that you sell? Fuck! Johnny, we got a runner. The boys will get her. Wait, wait. She didn't pay. Her kind don't belong around here. What'd she order? The mighty. Here's the forty for my gas. I can't believe they left us on a cliffhanger like that. Did the? Is she gonna? Is. I don't know. So, <laughs> what I'm really enjoying about these is that it gives us a little glimpse, doesn't it? A little, just tiny little peek at the script and what sort of shit they're actually going to be saying. Because they would have been sent the actual one so they can practice. Turns out they didn't practice enough. All right, so Jane, De Jane Derhas, she, uh, five views. I'm probably four of them. Uh, she didn't get it. It's a real shame, because that could have been really good, I think. She would have owned that part. Can you imagine her in Noé Font's live-action double? Can you imagine her and Brandon Scheid and the others just vibing on set? That would have been good. Oh, shit. I am slightly concerned that maybe there's something wrong with her. And I've just laughed. Uh, hopefully not though hopefully she is just shit and she deserves this so there we go onwards to the next Cody Herring for the part of Johnny a very fun part with lots of almost laughing whilst you're trying to shout at people hi my name is Cody Herring and I'm auditioning for the role of Johnny hi Cody bloody hell I wish I, I, I really hope he gets the role he, he deserves it. Look, look at this transition he did in the editing as well. Hi, my name is Cody Herring and I'm auditioning for the role of Johnny. <laughs> oh, he looks like he shit himself. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cody Herring. I think... You've already told us that, mate. I identify with this character so much is because... This could have been me if I had gone a different path in life. Um, I had a very distant mother. Um. It goes on. It gets heartbreaking at points. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go and look at him reading out the lines now, shall we? 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot more fun now. Look, uh, maybe we can make <laughs> There! I paused it at the right moment. Do you see that? He's like... <laughs> Hey, this ain't none of your business, boy. Leave her alone. You can't go around treating people like that. Look, here, take it. it covers everything plus some. Oh, fuck, it's so boring. I'm gonna whiz it on a bit because there's a bit where it's really funny. Ready? I think it's here. Back off, man. I mean it. I'm gonna break him. Better back him off. Slime up. Back off. God, ow. Come on, Johnny. God. Come on. Hey, you. Give me back my 20 bucks. Do it. Lay on the ground. Do no, man. Do it! I'm not laying on the ground! Do it! Hi, my name is Cody Nerman. How good is that? How did he not get the part with that? Do it! <laughs> Christ. Unlucky, Cody. At least you're getting your few seconds of fame. He's got 16 views. That's... Oh. That's loads more than the other old woman. I really think that after watching all this shit, that I could, no, I should probably be trying to audition for stuff. Yeah, I could have been in Send It the Movie. Imagine that, me in Send It the Movie. That would have been so good for my career. It's the perfect match for a gnarly extreme sports athlete, you see, to go and be in a kid's film that is just blatantly going to be horrible. Mm, good call. That would be a, that would have been a good call for me. Yeah. So that geezer, Cody, didn't quite get it. Almost. He must have been right up there. But he didn't. And not quite. So I've gone and had a look who did get it, and it's this guy called Chance Beck. And let me just read you out his bio, because I really think it's it's pretty good. Chance has been called a mashup of Jim Carrey, Seth MacFarlane, Ethan Hawke, Steve Carell, Will Ferrell, and two dead guys. Studying design and something else has he even had his own news show before graduating. He's fucking amazing. And he became fascinated with him looking at himself on a screen. After landing lots of starring roles in some shit local theatre productions... Chance Beck has become a surprising and unique talent in the acting and voiceover world. It goes on, though. It goes on. Listen, don't click away. It gets so good. He applies this Beck blend. So that's a play on words of his surname. He's come up with his own. It's not good, is it? And then it, <laughs> but it gets out of control in this paragraph. He even makes his own sound effects, leaving most directors in awe, asking, where has this guy been? I need him in everything from now on. Roles such as Weasel in the movie Meltdown and Alvin Kirby in the movie Purgatory Road were so captivating, direct directors often only needed one take. He was that fucking good. He could do his job the first time he was asked to do it. It is also rumoured that Chase has the darkest rendition of the Joker anyone has ever heard or seen. That must be where they think he's like Heath Ledger. He's going to be the perfect person for Send It the Movie in the role of Johnny. I'm God, he's going to be good, I think. Best of luck, Chase is that his name? Chase Chance. What's hang on? I better get that right. Chase. <laughs> Look at him there. He's so convincing as a person with dreadlocks. Here's three videos of him. Perfect. A demo reel. <laughs> they were right, he is good at sound effects. Man, 
he's really into the role here. This film is the perfect stepping stone for Send It the Movie. Alright, I've done this for too long. I need to go and do something else. See you all another time. Bye.